we finish our concert with perhaps the most important piece of music written in Cincinnati. It was written by a, a woman named Louise Shropshire, and it was called If My Jesus Wills. Now, when you hear this song, you might recognize there's this phrase that keeps on repeating, we shall overcome, we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh yes, if my Jesus wills. For more than six decades, the song We Shall Overcome, which many note as the most powerful song of the 20th century, has been listed as composer unknown. But we've come to know that the song has deep roots right here in Cincinnati, Ohio. I first heard that it had the Cincinnati origins by reading the author Isaiah Scamboa. And at that point, I was able to learn more of the facts around the situation for We Shall Overcome the Song. From If My Jesus Wills, it became We Shall Overcome. Louise Schrafschreier was uh, actually uh, from Cincinnati. She was Cincinnati born and raised. Uh, she was a, a, a church-going woman, someone that was very involved in the community and in the church and very involved with music. She had a connection with uh, Martin Luther King and uh, my understanding is that he asked her if he could use the song for what he was doing within civil rights. And so they had a very good relationship. From the church pews of Cincinnati, Ohio to the picket lines of millions, from Northern Ireland to Eastern Europe, from Berlin to Beijing, and from South Africa to South America. Its message of solidarity and hope has been sung in dozens of languages, in presidential palaces and in dark prisons. And it continues to lend its strength to all people struggling to be free. This song is sung the most in India. We found that out and we were amazed by that. And we had the opportunity to reach out to the Greater Cincinnati Indian Community Choir and ask them if they would join us on the stage for this incredible one night only performance and they said yes. When anyone ever hears this tune, it gives them the feeling that yes, we can overcome. That there is a world where we can have justice and peace together and living in harmony. And we finish our concert with a celebration of this song of Louise Shropshire and the extraordinary journey that it has, that, that it has gone on uh, and the importance of bringing our world together. Not only is it the song that changed the world, but it's such a powerful piece and it's so inspirational. Uh, every time I hear that song, it literally uh, fills me up and brings tears to my eyes.